हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन हैंड राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट एन इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ मास एम इज डिस्चार्ज विद एन इनिशियल हॉरिजेंटल विलास टी वी नाट इफ इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू टू फील्ड ऑफ फोर्स फॉर विच एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्ल टू एफ नाट एंड एफ ऑफ वाई इज इक्ल टू पॉइंट थ्री टाइम्स दी एफ नाट where f not is constant determine the equation of the path and the speed of the electron at any instant t right so we have to determine the velocity as a function of time equation and then we have to determine the path equation right so let's say that this is that electron so we will have two forces right here we will have that force f of x and here we will have f of y force right so let's say this is f of y and this is our coordinate system this is the positive x axis and this is the positive y axis so again if we apply since the electron is in motion so we are going to apply the equation of motion so again if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x right so as we can see that there is only one force which is acting in the x direction and that is f of x force right so we can write that f of x is equal to m a x or from this equation we can write that ax is equal to f of x divided by m and we are given that f of x is equal to f not right so i can write that this ax is equal to f not divided by m and f not and m both are constants right now we want to find the velocity in the x direction right so we can write that this is dvx acceleration is dvx by dt equals to f not divided by m and if i multiply both side by dt so we will have the equation like this and now we can integrate this similarly these are constant so we can integrate this dt so as we can see that initially the, le the electron has the velocity in the x direction only right so we the initial velocity in the x direction is vx since this is dvx right and at any instant at any time the velocity will be let's say v uh, this is let's say the initial velocity in the x direction is v not and at any instant the velocity will be vx right and similarly initially uh, here t equals to 0 and here t will be equal to uh, at any instant the time will be equal to t let's say So now, if we integrate this, so this will be cancel out, and if we apply these limits, this is v x, and if we apply this these limits, so this will be v x minus v naught, right? So I can write that this is v x minus v naught equals to f naught divided by m, and this d will cancel out, so we will be left with only t from zero to t, and if we put these limits, so we will have this same equation. So this is v x minus v naught equals to f naught m by t, and we can write that v x is equal to initial velocity v naught plus f naught m into t, right? So this is the velocity magnitude in the positive x direction or in the x direction. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y. So again, we have only that one force f of y, which is equal to point three f naught. So again, we if we if we apply this equation, so this will be zero point three f naught equals to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. Or from this equation, we can write that a y is equal to zero point three f naught divided by m. and again if i write this acceleration in terms of velocity so this will be dvy by dt equals to 0.3 f not divided by m and if i multiply both side by dt so we will have the equation like this now we can integrate this so as we can see that at the origin the velocity is only acting in the x direction the velocity in the y direction is zero so initially the the y component of the velocity is zero right so vy initial velocity in the y direction is zero 
and let's say that at any instant t velocity is equal to v y and similarly we will integrate this from 0 to t so again if we integrate this so this will be if we apply these limits so this will be v y minus 0 so this is v y and this will be 0 0.3 f naught divided by m and this will be t this integration will give us only t and if we put these limits so we will have this same term which is 0 0.3 f naught t so v y equals to 0 0.3 f naught t so this is the magnitude of the velocity at any instant t in the y direction now the velocity magnitude will be equal to v x square plus v y square under the square root if we apply the pythagoras theorem right since we will have the velocity v x we will have the velocity v y and this will be the velocity vector right so the velocity magnitude according to pythagoras theorem will be v x square plus v y square and now we know v x square v x so this is v x so we can write that this is v naught plus f naught divided by m t square plus v y which is 0 0.3 f naught divided by m into t square and then we will take the square root so this is the velocity magnitude or we can say that this is the speed of the electron at any instant now after this we are going to find determine the equation of the path so again if i write this velocity in terms of the displacement in the x direction right so we can write that this vx will be equal to this will be equal to dx by dt and this is v naught plus f naught divided by m into t and if you multiply both side by dt so we will have the equation like this and we can integrate this this is from 0 to x and this is from 0 to t initially the electron is at 0 0 right at the origin so x is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 right so we if we integrate this so this will be x this will become v naught t plus f naught divided by m t square divided by 2 or we can write that this is 2m so this is the displacement or the position of the electron in the x direction at any instant t similarly if i write this velocity is a function of y that is dy, dy by dt so this is 0 0.3 0 0.3 f naught divided by m into t and if i multiply both side by dt so again we can integrate this these are constants so this will be from 0 to y right at, at t equals to 0 the y x and y coordinates are 0 right so this is 0 and this is from 0 to t so now if i integrate this so we will have y minus 0 so this is y and this is 0 0.3 f naught divided by m and this will become t square divided by 2 or we can write that this is f naught divided by 2 m into t square now from this equation we can write that t square is equal to this 2 m into y so 2 m y divided by 0 0.3 f naught this is t square and only t for only t we need to take the square root so this is 2 m y 0 0.3 f naught to the power 1 divided by 2 we need to take the square root so now we we need to find determine the equation of the path so we need to have the equation x as a function of y or we need to have y as a function of x right so we have this x so this x involves t so we want to bring y in this equation right we want to have x as a function of y right so x is equal to v naught and t we, we, we will replace this t by this so we will have the y in this equation right so this will be we can write this is t is 2 m y divided by 0 0.3 f naught and the power is 1 divided by 2 and this is plus f naught divided by 2m 
and this is t square right so we can write that t square is 2 m y divided by 0 0.3 f naught similarly as we can see that this 2 m will cancel out and this will cancel out and this f naught will cancel out and this f naught will cancel out so we will be left with y divided by 3 right so this is the path equation right this is x as a function of y so we can write that this is y divided by 0 0.3 right so in the problem statement we were required to find determine the equation of the path so this is the equation of the path this is x as a function of y and this is the speed or the velocity magnitude so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood this problem solution kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problem from engineering dynamics